right, so we're just left white fish. Which is beautiful. And we are now headed north to Eureka, Montana to cross over the border to Canada via Rooseville, I believe, or Grasmere. Is that Grasmere? It's called Grasmere. You can't find the wait times on the website. They don't list them. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it won't be too busy. We're trying to get there through the, before the weekend. We dumped off our beer and such at our friend's house in the back of their porch. We're gonna stop by a gas station, get rid of the eggs. We'll do a one, once over on the camper to make sure we're not bringing any contraband over. Let's see how it goes. Never like doing this. Hopefully the Canadian camper will help us with the uh, border crossers. Thank you. Where's home for everyone? Oh, Washington State. And where are we headed to? Uh, Alaska via Canada. Okay. <laughs> How many days is it going to take to drive through Canada to get to Alaska? We're thinking seven we have routed out. Do we have anything with us that we're bringing to Canada to sell, to leave, or to give away? No. Do we have anything with us for personal protection? No. No bear spray? Oh, we have bear spray. Yep, All bear right. spray. Do we have any other defensive spray, like mace? Nope. Is there anything like a taser or a stun gun? Nope, no taser or stun guns. And what about firearms? No firearms. Not even a little one? Not even a tiny one. Alright. Do you normally travel with firearms in the vehicle? You know, we did it in the United States for a little bit, then we stopped by Minnesota where my parents lived and we dropped all that stuff off. Okay, so no holsters, no mags, no... Nothing like that, nope. Nothing like that? Nope. And has anyone asked you to bring mail or packages into Canada for them? Nobody. Okay, enjoy your visit. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. All right. Hey, you guys. We go Canada, Isaac. Woo, Canada! <laughs> now, we can take a picture. You did a good job, Isaac. Yeah. He was very um, nice gentleman, wasn't he? This one looks a little more intimidating. And this camera's all over the place. Where? At the US one. Look at that's all they have for the Canadian side and look at what the US has. I know. There's a huge multi complex there. High five guys.
Well, we made it to Canada. The Landmarks has made it to the second country. Woo! Yay! And it's beautiful. <laughs> yep. So there you go. 70. 70 kilometers? Per hour? Jeez, that's 45 miles per hour. Wait, what's this say here? Okay, 100. Tim Hortons donut coffee. They're like Dunkin' Donuts, Isaac. Yeah. Dr. Gordon loved those. Coffee, donuts, espresso, sandwiches, latte. I like it. There's Walmart. All right, it's over there, right? Hey, look, at there's Marx's, guys. Yeah. Where? Right there on the sign below Superstore. our campground over there at home building center and now we're going to try this real Canadian superstore sorry Walmart apparently they have everything we need finally wine gum sees water bridge wine gum bulk yummy put them in there baby we had to wait for half a nickel to get these two ones. Quail eggs for sale. Can't beat that price. Give me 69 Canadian. I want to get quail eggs. Yeah. Hopefully our credit card works here. All right. All right. We have landed in Canada, as you know. And, Wendy, we are staying at the Home Hardware Building Center, and they have a very nice sign, as you can see over there. Overnight parking for campers and truckers is welcome. After all, you are our customers. So thank you, Mr. Home Hardware Building and Center, or Mrs. We appreciate that. We just had some pho down the road. It was pretty good. Gasse, love the exchange rate. It's pretty awesome. It's like the opposite of Disney money. Junior here is enjoying a gigantic oversized chair. And uh, it's supposed to be windy and a little bit of rain tonight. Other than that, all is good. It's the uh, Canadian 150th anniversary of their country, so there's going to be some huge celebrations here. There's a USS carrier in Halifax, and they're up security. They have some rumors of some bad stuff that's going to happen, so we're going to avoid all, all that, hopefully, and just kind of keep to ourselves going to Banff next. And uh, it feels good to be outside the country a little bit. I haven't been to outside of the country other than Mexico or Europe or anything since, um, hey Isaac, how old are you? Eight. Eight years. There you go. Thanks for watching. More to come.